Just got the new 2-in-1 portable oscilloscope. Let's get started fast. One video to master the DS215H. Beginner-friendly guide. Anyone can use it easily. Let's look at the design. There are two knobs on the right side. Button 1 is the power. Button 2 is mode switch. Button 3 is pause. Button 4 is auto measurement. Button 5 is menu. The rightmost port is for charging. Side view of the device. There are three ports from top to bottom. Oscilloscope channel 1. Oscilloscope channel 2. Signal generator output. It also has a support stand on the back. Comes with oscilloscope probes and ground clamp. Alligator clip included. Adapter tip included. Attach the adapter to the probe as needed. Ground clamp goes on the metal part in the middle of the probe. Use the included USB cable to charge. Just plug and go. Before using, calibrate the probe. Connect the probe and ground clamp to channel 1 and the signal generator. Attach the red and black clips properly. Hold mode switch to enter settings. Set probe to 10 times. Hold again to exit. Switch the probe to 10 times. Hold menu to enter the signal generator screen. Use the top knob to set 1 kHz square wave. Hold menu again to return to oscilloscope view. Press auto measure once. If the waveform looks off, grab the small screwdriver. Gently adjust the probe's trimmer until the waveform is correct. Calibration done. Hold power to turn on. The DS215H includes oscilloscope and signal generator functions. When using oscilloscope mode, connect the probe leads, red or black clips and alligator clip properly. Match probe and scope settings. Plug the probe into channel 1. Press auto measure to start measurement. It also supports dual channels. Add another probe to channel 2. Press auto measure again. Press mode switch once to switch to control time base and level. Blue icon means you can adjust channel 1's time base and level. Top knob adjusts level. Bottom knob adjusts time base. Press mode switch again. Now it's orange. You can now adjust channel 2 level and time base. Same as channel 1. Press mode switch again. Use the top knob to move the waveform of channel 1 up or down. Bottom knob can move the waveform of channel 1 left or right. Press mode switch again to adjust channel to waveform. Same way as channel 1. Press mode switch again to move trigger level up or down. Hold mode switch button to open channel 1 settings. Adjust on or off. Probe ratio. Coupling type. And FFT. Top knob switches options. Bottom knob confirms. Press pause to freeze waveform. Hold pause to open trigger settings. Top knob changes options. Bottom knob adjusts setting values. Hold pause to exit. Press auto to enable automatic measurement. Hold auto button to enter channel to settings. Same process as channel 1. Hold to exit. Press menu to open settings. The first option 50 means auto adjusts the bias voltage and trigger voltage to the appropriate position. Use knob to move to the measurement option. Press power to confirm. Knob select each parameters. Press power to toggle on or off. The third option is save screenshot. Press power to save waveform for later review. Fourth, cursor mode. Shows X1, X2 and Y1, Y2. Press mode switch to switch X1, Y1. Bottom knob moves X1. Top knob moves Y1. Switch to X2, Y2. Bottom knob moves X2. Top knob moves Y2. Ray enter cursor mode to hide cursors. Fifth option, calculation. Displays waveform calculation results. Sixth option, 
After low mode, seventh option XY mode, eighth calibration. All probes are unplugged. Press power to calibrate. Takes a while. Please wait patiently. Ninth image. Enter the picture viewing interface. Top knob switches images. Press auto to delete. Tenth settings. Customize as you like. Press menu to exit. Hold menu to open signal generator interface. There are 13 waveforms including sine and square. Connect probe to signal output port. Use knobs and press power to adjust. Frequency. Duty cycle. Amplitude. There's also a reset hole at the bottom. Use a pin to force shutdown if needed.